Hey guys, Victoria Jones Griffith here. And this is part three of Be Victorious, Living a Victorious Life. And we're on lesson number two. So if you haven't checked out the first two videos that I have posted in make sure you subscribe as well about my book, which just went up on Amazon uh, about a month ago, ebook and paperback. Uh, I posted two videos, one introducing the five V's and then the second video was on the first V, lesson number one, victimhood. And this video we're talking about lesson number two, validation. So I wanted to start out by reading a part in my book under lesson number two, which is at the end with my five V's. I encourage you to read my story leading up to the five V's because the five V's are basically the techniques and methods I used to heal myself. And it took me 10 years, but I don't want it to take you 10 years. So that's why I put them all together. But real quick, let's go over the five V's. And since we have five fingers, it's easy to remember them this way, starting from the bottom to go to the top, which the top we get to victory, our victorious life. And number one, lesson number one is victimhood, which I talked about on my last video. Lesson number two is validation, which is what we're gonna be talking about right now. Lesson number three is the voice. Number four is vulnerability. And the fifth one is the victory, living a victorious life. And I wanted to reiterate, we all have been in that victim mentality in our life when we've been stuck in victimhood. Whether you're trying to let go of that need to be perfect, getting off that timeline, which is what we'll talk about in this video, but we've all been in that place where that inner critic is telling us we are not good enough, we are not worthy, we are damaged goods, uh, we can't get out of that place of being stuck. And we just keep, like I talked about in the video uh, prior to this one about the, being in that victimhood state, we have to change those those thoughts, those negative thoughts into positive ones. And I use the analogy of a train track and we have those negative tracks running through, those negative trains on those tracks running through our brain all the time. And we have to redirect those thoughts. It is proven, it is scientific, it's called neuroplasticity. So that's the new frontier that I'm studying. And let's go into lesson number two we, that I talk about with validation. I wanna start out by reading a part of my book in the five V's. So get my book if you have it. And under lesson number two, validation, I love this part. Perfectionism isn't possible, but transformation is. Think about that. Once you let go of self-imposed timelines, comparing yourself to others, and accepting your body, you will begin loving who you see in the mirror. I grew up in an environment where everyone seemed perfect on the outside, so the stage was set for disappointment early on. From a very young age, I dreamed of going to college, getting married, and raising kids, just like everyone else in the community I grew up in. When that didn't happen on my timeline, I began to feel like I wasn't good enough or that something was wrong with me, and I channeled the need to be perfect into my job and achievement addiction. I had to be the best teacher, the best trainer, in the best shape, and the list goes on. I confused being busy with being successful. The more I tried to be perfect, the more miserable I became. At every turn, I ended up on that negative track back to victimhood. So that's where all those V's feed into each other. The first V being stuck in victimhood. And then we try to go on to the next phase, validation, which we're talking about right now, is we if we don't get that peace and we don't let go of those timelines and that need to be perfect, we will go right back into that victimhood mentality. And then we start that negative feedback loop over and over again. And we create that story and we stay there. So my purpose with this, with the five V's and this video is to help you move to the next step and then we move to the next step and onwards and upwards. So that letting go of the timeline and the need to be perfect part of the validation lesson 
and also, which I'll talk about, there is no one size fits all for your nutrition and your workout component, which is my specialty as a health and wellness professional of 20 years. So we'll talk about that too. So I have three self love rituals that I talk about in my five V's, but also throughout my book as I had two amazing mentors in my life help me uh, with different techniques in order to help myself heal and get through that, that transformation process. And these are things that I still do daily and I wanted to share those with you. So one of them is metabolic typing, my metabolic mapping program. I can't stress that enough. That is the program that I've used for almost 20 years and all my clients are on the program and that is finding the the foods that are best for your unique biochemistry and that sets us up for loving ourselves and not comparing ourselves to other people out there so one of my biggest pet peeves is you know having when someone comes in and brings a picture that of someone else that they want to look like and that is is telling yourself that you're not lovable the way you are and I can understand having goals for yourself you know that are realistic for your body and in weight and measurements and all of that but when you bring in a picture of somebody else and maybe that's your vision board for you then you're telling yourself you are not good enough that'll send you right back to that victimhood mentality especially when you can't achieve that unrealistic expectations so that first of all setting realistic expectations and goals with your nutrition and your workout program and the key is consistency i know it sounds too easy but that is what works there is no magic workout or diet so side note if someone on social media is claiming that they have the one workout or one nutrition program that works run uh, that there is no one size fits all so we have to find what works for us and once we find that we're going to be happier with our bodies because we've taken all that guesswork out and we found out what what works for us and then the two other self-love rituals that I talk about in my five V's under validation the first one I can't stress enough how important this one is with starting a journal and writing each day writing is so therapeutic and can be so healing especially if you're a sensitive person you have a lot of emotions trapped inside you if we don't let that go it can cause dis-ease in the body and that can translate to real disease in the body and not being healthy so I know I used over 10 years I had like five journals and that's how I ended up writing my book was with all those journals but not that you need to go back and keep you know looking over the past and being stuck in the past but getting those feelings out right now even if you're just writing something that you're grateful for every day you know waking up your kids uh, your family your significant other your pets that gets you started in in that habit in that daily habit of releasing something to the world and it's a safe place and that I've got like several journals are easy to pick up I was going to create my journal within this book and have like a separate a, a journal attached to it which I might do uh, eventually to give you some starters to start writing but it was hard for me at first but so therapeutic I started actually writing my dreams down and that was when I was dreaming a lot I'm kind of getting back to that now so I'm excited about that so third self-love ritual is mirror talk and writing love notes to yourself so that seemed kind of foreign to me at first because I did not want to look at myself in the mirror I did a lot of mirror work I did dance classes where we had to look at ourselves in the mirror because I would see myself uh, as a victim of sexual assault and abuse uh, that I endured but also put myself in terrible terrible situations after my first sexual assault so looking in the mirror I, I did not want to see that person I hated that person I was ashamed of that person and there was not a lot of self-love there so doing that mirror work and telling myself that I, I love myself and having to uh, to, to 
embrace what I saw was really hard, but also it was a great way for me to let go of a lot of the shame and a lot of the anger that I felt towards the men that I, you know, that, that hurt me and that I exposed myself to over those dark, during those dark times. So, you know, telling yourself, I love you and you know, that I am worthy, you are worthy, however you want to say it. Um, you can do it in your journal. You could do it on sticky notes. Uh, whatever is is a way for you to practice it and get that inner critic off of that fear-based um, you know self-loathing talk and onto that positive those positive trains and loving yourself because your your outward appearance will start to look more energetic you will look more alive once you're telling yourself on the inside uh, that you are lovable and that you love yourself. So we have to make it a part of our daily practice. So journaling, love notes to yourself, whether it be sticky notes or writing it on a mirror in front of you or writing it in that journal. And then that third love, third self-love ritual of finding that program, whether it be metabolic typing, finding that program that is not one size fits all, that makes you feel the best version of yourself with your workout regimen and your diet. So you have that, that energy all day long. Uh, it's so important that we practice those tips. And that is the second lesson of the five V's of living a victorious life. So thank you guys, those that have gotten the book and send me have sent me messages about what this has meant to you in my story, if it resonated with you. Uh, it's really helpful in giving, bringing me so much clarity as to, and confirmation as to why I felt deep in my soul that I needed to write this book. So I'll look forward to seeing you guys next time. And in the meantime, be victorious.